Okay, a typical sequence of operation when you're integrated is not dissimilar to how you did it before. Um, an operator may um, run a function in a bridge that will get the documents, the purchase orders, uh, from the, the customers and pull them down and they will go right into the application. Uh, it will do that with the integrity that uh, is done when you, when you type it in as, a, as a, an order entry clerk. Uh, it checks the items, checks the customers, checks the ship to codes, and um, it allows an operator to uh, edit uh, those if, if need be. Um, once the orders are in the application, the um, shipments uh, are produced, the, the uh, pick pack uh, process is done as normal, and uh, they come out of the application and they will be sent off to the customers. Um, once the shipment has gone, then the um, operators produce invoices and they go out to the customers. So it's not dissimilar to the way it would be done uh, by paper. I'm often asked, uh, why uh, are they making me do this? A medium-sized business is saying to me, why are they making me do EDI? And I've sort of boiled it down to three basic reasons. Uh, the first is, is your customers uh, need to be uh, competitive. They need competitive advantages. And in order for them to become competitive and remain competitive, is they need to shorten uh, the lead times and make them faster. Okay, so from the building of the product to it being in their hands, in the customer's hands, over their cash registers, needs to be shorter and faster. <clears throat> now, that makes them competitive, but uh, what's in it for you? Um, being connected, okay, uh, will ensure success. And the way that will do that is that when you're part of the supply chain, then you're going to be able to mo move more products through the process uh, to the consumers.